you have been here for how many years now? Thirty-two years. Thirty-two years. <laughs> so, how did it actually happen? How did you get? Uh, actually, I didn't know anything about Swami. I was taken up. Uh, I was working abroad. So, in one of the consignment, I, one of the things I came to Nigeria. I was uh, taken up there in the medical college. So, I was just assistant to assistant professor. So, I don't have any religious background. My both parents are highly educated. So, we only used to go once in a while when before exam to the Gurdwara and Mandir. That was all. So, there they, I was seeing the patients. So, one patient I saw fever. So, when I saw her, I thought they were giving treatment for malaria. I thought it is not malaria, it is something different, typhoid. So I thought if I tell it, they say, what, uh, new doctor, what you are talking about? But then I thought if I don't speak out, the patient will die because that form ulcer in the intestines. So I went to the boss, the professor of uh, gynecology, and I told him, I said, sir, these are the points, one, two, I pointed out all the points. And I said, please see the patient. And after saying, I just about turn and for, I went further to see my patients. So about, after about half an hour, I got a chit from, brought by two young doctors on which it has written that hereby I'm made in charge of one unit to making me a consultant, which is very, very rare in a foreign country because they, are, they don't give such important jobs to the outsiders because they want to put up their own people, not the top. And they gave me, okay, you give you one ward and two house surgeons will help you and two OPD days and two ward uh, operation days. So it was going on like that. One day we came to know that some people are having some get-together every every Thursday. They sing bhajans, but more than bhajans, they bring one man dish from one family. So if 15 families come, 15 dishes to eat. So that's a big attraction. So only to eat the dishes, because mother will make one dish sometimes, you know. To have the dishes and enjoy, that's why we joined it. And uh, once, a, uh, once a week, uh, by rotation, tea is not a problem because they give you full furnished house with no headache. So like that, we enjoyed and one day uh, they said, okay, somebody is going to Swami and they brought Vibhuti. So I got one Vibhuti packet. So I had on my emergency day, one patient came from very far off place, from bush somewhere. Uh, she was uh, pregnant, she, deli- she was in labor pains, but the baby did not come out. It died in the tummy and the uterus which contains the baby burst. So I had to operate upon her. She came about 11 a.m. in the morning. So I did the operation and everything. She came with BP was very low. Still after the operation of her BP didn't come up beyond 90 by 60. Whole day we struggled with everything, blood, this, everything on earth was given to her. 12 midnight still she has not come up on anesthesia and she is still same BP. I am so looking up all the books, have I missed anything? I was so tense, I have so much headache, I am taking medicine for headache, for sleep, nothing is working, my head is bursting. And I had given everything on earth. And in medical, we say four hours patient doesn't recover. That means cells are die- dead. Nothing will happen. And the shock can't be reversed. Here, 13 hours have gone by and nothing at all. Her kidney also was failing, very little even coming. So I thought, oh, this is a booty. Where people say, God, this, that, other. Why not? I try this now. So I just rang up the hospital, sent the ambulance to me. And uh, five minutes passed, nothing happened. What happened? They have gone to fetch a heart case. So I pick up my car and put the bibuti uh, in the car key. I wake, woke up my mother in the garden. I said, let's we'll go to the hospital. And the way I get the ambulance coming. So I stopped him. I rushed up to him. I said, go back. Our the father say they've gone mad in the middle of the night. What is happening to them? So now I, I can't put the bibuti. Uh, let the nurse see it. So I made my mother stand like bold, no? And told the nurse to go and get some medicine, which I knew she will take a long time. In the meantime, I said, Swami, why did you not let her die before? Huh? You could have let her die before. She could die on the way. Now, after I've operated, you better make her all right. Otherwise, you could have made her die before. Now. Why could you make her die earlier? Huh? Now I have done it. Now you have to make her all right. You have to make her all right. Like that's I'm just, you know, in that I'm, instead of saying, please, I'm just, I'm asking, why did you not let her die early? See, the brain... So then after all that talking, I put the vibhuti in a patient's mouth, opened her mouth, put in and put in, a, in I put in, a, in her hair. I can't put on the forehead because people can see and tomorrow patient dies, it will be such a havoc, they will create a, such a scene. So and then after that, somehow I felt so calm and peaceful as if my whole burden has been taken off. Then we came home and I could sleep. 
In the morning, first impulse is to find out how, what happened to patient. When I phone up, they say, patient's all right. I say, well, this foolish nurse, she can say she's living, she can say she's better. All right, she must be nuts. She just, I wanted to scold her right, left. But all anger I took on the phone, I threw the phone down. So I picked up my car key and rushed to the hospital. And when I reached the veranda, I see the urine coming in a stream. Because when the BP falls, the urine also stops uh, functioning very little you urine come. When I see it's coming like, you know, stream, I just rushed. I just ran to see. Patient is smiling away. Her BP has gone up by 40 points. Whole day did not come beyond 80. 120 by 80 bounding pulse. And she's smiling away. And everything is so, I mean, every picture is changed. I say, my God, I didn't give her anything uh, except Vibhuti after 12 o'clock. Before 12 o'clock, we would get everything from 11 a.m. till 12 midnight. We had given her all things on earth. Nothing happened. Only new things Vibhuti. This Vibhuti, how can it happen? But it was there before me. I couldn't question myself because it was there. I can see the smiling patient. They have urine well, like this. So that was my first impulse. Then many more miracles happened. Many more happened. So we thought, okay, we go, come first to Swami. So we made a ticket like that. First to touch uh, the Beirut, then Bombay, then Bangalore. We said we'll go to Delhi later on. We have to see this Swami. What is this? From Nigeria. Ah. So we came here and then we had many more. Uh, then Swami told us, we, my, and then I sent my next contract. But that paper, God, where went, we do not know. But they were telling me to come back and join duty. If I join duty like that, then I have to pay the money and they will give me, reimburse the money there. I said, I'm not going to pay. They should send a ticket. And what happened to paper? I don't know. In the meantime, so I got my passport made again. Then Swami said, I'm starting a hospital in Whitefield. You start joining it. So I joined Swami's hospital. We, in the meantime, Shivratri also came. We saw him bring out the Shivlingam. And so I, in, uh... this all happened 76, February 76. I joined the hospital in Whitefield in August 76. I worked there for three years, from 76 to 79. So 79, I was shifted uh, to this hospital, along with other doctors. Mm -hmm. So what was your first impressions when you came to Brindavan? Brindavan, I was already thinking, no, this Swami is something great. So, so I started working there. So once you came from Nigeria, you didn't go back? No, all? I sent my resignation from Bhattapati. I sent resignation from Whitefield. When you came, did Swami call you? Did he speak to you? No, no. In the, he was just going, uh, going while going and say, hey, you don't work. I said, I was sweating and fuming. Why is telling me don't work? How can I work? I will not go without. Why should I spend my own money? Then one day he told me, okay, start working in the hospital. No interview, nothing. Start working in the hospital. And then... Uh, then interview they gave us later. Then uh, uh, your parents also shifted? Yes, parents, we all came to the, together. So all of you stayed back here? Yes. And never went back again? No. <laughs> then, and then all the money was in the bank there. Swami so money is there. Ah, write a letter to embassy. So I wrote one letter to Indian embassy. They sent all the money in pounds to India in my account. So I put all the thing in fixed deposit. <laughs> so. so after you joined the Brindan Hospital, when you joined the Brindan Hospital, how many people were there? How many doctors? We started with this Dr. Vijayashree and myself in the beginning. <coughs> Only two of us. Must then have later been very, on. Very difficult. No, nothing difficult. Okay. Mm -hmm. Until very... when you treat a patient, huh? when somebody comes to you, hmm. do you always feel that Swami is treating? Do you feel Many times he makes us feel, no? When for Mrs. Quexi, the one who gave um, uh, donated for the primary school, she was my patient in Whitefield. The hard story you must have heard already. No, we don't. You want to hear? Yes, that? yes, please. She, she was in Italy, you know, and she had already three daughters. So she got, got a son who died. And her youngest daughter was all the time crying. I want my brother. I want my brother. All the time she was crying, crying. Such a headache for everybody. So one day she went to swimming pool and uh, she dived deep. When she came out, she said, Mommy, I'm not going to cry anymore. Uh -huh, very nice. Then they said, um, why? See, one orange uh, uh, person told me he will send my brother back to me. So I'm not going to cry. This was happening in, in Italy? In Italy, Italy. She came to me as a patient. Then how I asked her, then she told me later on. In Whitefield, she came to me as a patient. 
So then, uh, after some time, she became pregnant. Then they thought, oh, what is it? Then one day they were going to a, and he just uh, went to a library sort of thing. And one book fell down. So that was uh, Osborne's book on Bastani Baba. And then she started knowing and then she came to know this Baba. Then she said, okay, we'll have the deal in Bangalore only. So they landed in Bangalore to Swami's hospital. Uh, was that the first time they were coming to Swami? Yes. Oh. This happened in 76 or 77, something about that time. Exactly, I, I think during that three years of mine. So then she came and uh, uh, she, a normal delivery should be there. She had normal three deliveries. So I was just watching her, her feet, blood, baby's heart was getting a little irregular. So I said, why the heart is getting irregular and it is not coming as it should come? So it came to me, maybe the cord which is catching the thing, na, uh, it is not, it is not, baby is not descending as it should come. So it made me feel that I should do operation. So I did a cesarean section. And when I opened the abdomen, the baby's cord was around the neck of the baby three times. So that was the reason why baby could not come. So I had to do a cesarean section to take out the baby because it was getting strangled with the cord. Cord is a, is a connection between the mother and the baby. Like a, a rope. So then I took out the baby. The baby is not crying. And the baby is not crying means doctor's life is already gone. And the baby doesn't cry. So I did everything which is possible. I said, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Immediately the baby started crying. And that baby grew up here. He studied in the primary school. All the elder girls studied in the, in the Anandpur and all that. And then they put the, they helped in the Swami's primary school. So, um... I mean, there must have been many cases. Where many cases. Many cases. Happened. Many cases. Uh, is there any case where physically Swami has acknowledged? Now, yes, that happened. When we came just new year seventy nine, we this hospital was not here at all. We had a we had the sign in Shilnivas building. There was a hospital. We used to call it Hill Hospital. And there were only two of us used to run up and down. Other people were doing OPD work. One day, one patient came in the evening. We told her, we don't think she can deliver normally. So we told her to go. She said, no, 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 I'm not going. <clears throat> so we did all the drift, whatever you can do. But she was not coming to deliver at all. We were thinking we have to do a section and we can't. We don't have any facility. So then she and myself, now this other doctor is working in a school now. So both of us went to the bus stand and she no, no bus, no taxi, nothing at all. 79 September, nothing was there. No, we are coming full, fretting, fuming, shouting at ourselves, shouting at the hospital, shouting at Swami fully. I mean, you can understand the agony of a doctor who can't do anything and the patient doesn't listen. So we are every full blast, we were, head was bursting with so much. Then we come, everything is changed. So within a short time, she delivered normally. Next day, Swami calls her interview. Why you are so upset? Why you are going here and there? Nothing, Swami. No, no. You were so upset. You are going to bus stand. You do whatever you can do. I will do further. Don't worry about anything. Physically, he told us. Then, another case. Middle of about 9, about 8.39, I was uh, delivering a baby. And baby delivered. Baby is, uh, you have to revive the baby. And there the mother is bleeding. And uh, we didn't have much nurses as now here. Swami had put one or two people to help us. And then uh, from the uh, window, somebody says, Doctor, I said, please don't disturb. Because I'm so angry, you know. Swami sent Vibhuti. Then I sent the girl next to me to go and fetch her. It was Mr. Chavanjiva. He bought Vibhuti packet. We gave Vibhuti. Everything changed. Baby started crying. The mother stopped bleeding. Everything was done. This is personal thing which he did for us. And then one more case. One patient came. She had missed her period by 15 days. So it looked that she is not okay because so much pain. We thought the, it's not normal pregnancy. The pregnancy is somewhere else in the tube. But we can't do any testing. Testing may all negative. Nothing is coming. How can you open the abdomen without knowing anything? He sent a message to Swami. Swami says, 2 o'clock, Dr. Alveja went. He came back. He said, open the abdomen immediately. And when we opened the abdomen, it was ectopic pregnancy, which happened in the tube. And tube is very small. What happened when the tube, the when baby, when it becomes very, very small, it just burst. And when it burst, you have to just immediately do the operation. You have to stop the bleeding. Otherwise, the patient will die if you are a little late. And we could see the first book picture, first drop of blood was dropping in the abdominal cavity, which we could have caught after which had gone down. And See? 
before even uh, you can diagnostically do anything, he just without seeing the patient is telling us to open the abdomen. How do we know? And he used to tell us in the interview, give this injection, this much dose. With the names? Names. We used to ask him in the interview, Swami, this patient, that patient. <clears throat> yes. You give us this injection, this much dose and all. Without seeing the patient, see, uh, uh, we are fully trained doctors, both patient doctors, we couldn't diagnose. He could diagnose uh, without knowing how can, how does he know? That means he knows. And this is patient used to come very, very late in labor, stuck up fully, neither the baby will come from below, nor from, when even do operation, nor from up, because stuck like this. Then, we have to struggle here, Lord. Swami, my hand is jammed, it doesn't come out, what to do? Swami, no. Baby will come out, cry nicely, no problem. This happened so many times. Childbirth is so critical. Like Very, it's like and getting a next, next birth. Mm. After you left Nigeria, mm. there you might have got used to such good facilities mm. and so many people to help you. Mm. What were your first impressions when you joined? When Swami helps, what a human help? When Swami helps, what human help? Absolutely no facilities in the mm. initial days. Yes. And no sepsis, no death, nothing happened. 100%. All these days. 100%. Send, uh, Swami, I mean, Swami, when God is there, what about human beings? We have our failings, no? So then how did you eventually get that faith in Swami that, you know, He is God? Because He proved it, no? <laughs> he said my dying patient that Vapsi Jesus case when without knowing, I put on the vibhuti and I didn't know Him at all. I just was telling him why you did not call, uh, kill the patient like that I was talking. When you see so many things, then you have to open your eyes and do, na? Then in the interview, he used to tell, so I'm talking to you, he will tell, you said this and this happened like this, like this. To make us know that he's omnipresent, he knows everything. Oh, what you spoke in the hospital, he would In the North Office, even house, what you're talking, he will say. Suppose I'm talking to you, he will say, this. you talk this, this one, that. How do we know? He proved that he is omnipresent, na? Okay, one different kind of question, Aji. Mm -hmm. When we all come to Puttaparthi, mm -hmm. what we want from Swami is our spiritual growth. Mm -hmm. now we want to grow spiritually. Mm -hmm. As a doctor, when you are day in and day out doing your practice, how do you keep that in mind? How do you do you offer it to Swami? Or how do you think you are progressing in the spiritual path? That he knows, now. The examiner knows where we stand. We are students only. But it's the, that's the only student. The Gita says you know, four types of devotees come to God. One is Artha, Artharthi, Jagyasu and Gyani. Artha is when they cry for God. I want help. We are in that state because when patient is bad, we want to come. Swami, come and save. So, you know, at that, at that time, patient is our so much life because on the patient depends our uh, happiness. Just as we plant a tree and it grows, it's nice. No? This is like just a, something, uh, when your patient is okay, you're happy. And we are in Artha state, please come and help. When you fully stuck up, what to do? And then he comes and helps. Other one, here only, this very hospital, in the middle of the night, I had two very bad cases. So when I come out, my other doctor, Sarupa, she put the fan over Swami's chair. I said, why did you put the fan over the chair? I told Swami, sit down here, two cases are very bad. You have to look after babies and mothers. Okay, sit down here. <laughs> I said, nice idea. 12 o'clock, we tell him to sit down here. Do you always feel Swami's presence? In any he sense? makes it, huh? he makes it feel. Where a patient would have died, they live and they recover. This is how I came to Swami. I didn't know Swami at all physically. I didn't have any background. Apart from these medical uh, uh, cases where Swami has directly, have you had any other experience with Swami? Any other kind of uh, experience? With your family members? Yes, he has saved so many lives. But the main thing being medical, I was attached to patients. So he drew me through patients. That is how, like the fish is attracted to flesh, like that. He has got his ways to pull people in different ways. Because I was attached to this line, so he pulled me like this. Other people are there, family, so many people, you must have heard how. So in the early days, 79, when you came mm -hmm. to Patti, uh, Swami would visit the hospital often? Yes, many times we used to come. So how often? Like? Many times. Yeah, when he joined the school uh, in the that time, he used to come to school every day without fail. I was working in school and hospital both places. Hospital, in primary school? Huh, when the hospital started in 81. He used to come to primary school always, every day. 
and all the teacher used to uh, not to take uh, breakfast before he come. Then he scolded, "Hey, take time in breakfast. Don't wait for me." So every day he used to come. Eighty one years old. I was working both places. Then I broke my uh, hip. So then that was personal miracle. Uh, I was going. Uh, they used to have bhajan at eleven o'clock. So I I thought after finish of uh, hospital OPD, I went to um, just to see the children, and so I can go for bhajan. So I was. Uh, they had just mopped the floor. I didn't notice. In one hand, I the kit. Other hand was just flap, flap down, and I broke my hip joint inside the ligament, which got torn. So I just fall flat, and uh, Swami when they did all X-rays at that time, no bone was broken. Uh, but Swami sent seven devotee package. It happened on nineteenth of December. So seven, I could not lift my foot. I was coming to Vichya for darshan. So one evening, every day I used to come from Vichya for darshan, go back to the hospital. One day I was asking for any ground floor room. I didn't. My room was upstairs. I couldn't lift my foot. So they told me one ground floor room. So it was um, A sixteen, uh, the funny bandha room. So I didn't even hold the door. I just stepped back. And that early evening at two o'clock, Kasturi's wife became very serious, and Swami told Kasturi, "Go and put and put her in Prabha's bed." How the, even hospital services not do not know that I'm not there, and she was put in my bed. Early morning next day, five o'clock, five a.m. She died. The same evening, when I was there, I I, I put in a small chair was sitting. Swami came and stood in front of me. And he says, "Take." So I took his part namaskar. Then later on, I understood when he so took. Uh, he told me, "Take." He gave me life, and on the bed in which I was lying so many days, he put uh, Kasturi's wife, who was paralyzed for ten years, to die. See, you understand now, and now I can understand all that. And in Nigeria, why he did all that to make me consultant? Only the way to get me do operation and then help me and then come. This is all his ways to put. Yeah, Shri Vas said, "Now put that thread and uh, like that." He did, which I can understand now. That time, uh, who could understand? All through, he was just uh, taking his pebbles, you know, the sparrows, <laughs> pulling the sparrows. So, and yeah. how, when he gave seven packets, nineteenth to seventh to twenty third, twenty third I could come, twenty uh, fifth uh, I could come for the Christmas uh, celebration. Oh. Yes, seven days we booty one one packet. I could recover so much that I could come and attend the festival. So who's been making all this? So after you came to Parthi, hmm. then you have gone back, or you have not gone anywhere. You have been here. No, I've been here. I've been going to see my family. My people are coming, going that way. I've been going up and down so many times, but I've not left the job and gone away. I've gone and leave several times. They all been coming. Whole family is here. So like that, coming up and down. But I didn't leave the job. I'm working here. That's what do you feel? And it is the greatest opportunity. Yes, of course. Yeah. And uh, it is. It is. Although every you have lot of practical problems and difficulties. No, that is nothing. Then he looks after what is there. Eighty one me I worked. Then I worked for five years. Then again, like say, first I had a heart. Once I had a heart attack. Second time I had broke my uh, uh, this one. Uh, this one, uh, what they say, hip joint, hip joint. So then uh, Swami said <laughs> he thought enough. So he, let me work. Give you a heart attack, Auntie. <laughs> no, no, I was no, not like this. I was night also. I'm going and covering them all the time. I was uh, they were squeaking the quills, and I was have to go cover the whole day and up up and down. I was just like that only. So not because the children, children were so nice and pretty. How can they give me heart attack? But it was to come. But when I was shifted in the ambulance to Bangalore, Swami said, "Ah, nothing. It is only gas." I said, "Okay, make it gas." I didn't go to any cardiologist. Oh, Why should I go? He said, "Gas." So that did make him gas. <laughs> Why should I go to become a heart heart attack? They shifted me from here, angina, as a heart case. So he said, "Nothing gas." So Swami's vibration, I think, mm-hmm. that itself cures. That is a fact. I said, when he says gas, if I go to heart doctor, they will make me heart patient. If I doubt his say. Same thing, Krishna says to Arjuna, "Na, it's a pebble." He says, "Yes, it's a vulture." Yes, it's, it's a, like that. You see, then they say, "Why are you talking like this? You can make anything now. Why should I question you? So why should I question him?" He says, "Gas, okay, let it be gas. Go ahead." I didn't go to any cardiologist. 
Isso é gás. O que é gás? Tem isso. 